Good morning, everybody. Hello and good morning, everybody. Welcome to Convocation for today, October 23rd. Our prayers today will be led by members of Father Dunstan Smith. Let's begin with prayer. Oh God, come to my assistance. Oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father. And to and the, the Son. Son. And to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We take this time to thank you, Lord. You're always making sure that I'm all right. We take this time to thank you, Lord. You're always making sure that I'm all right. He's making sure that I'm all right. We take this time to thank you, Lord. You're always making sure that I'm all When we pray the Psalms, we praise God with the word of God. The response is, sing and shout praises to the Lord our God. Sing and shout praises to the Lord our God. Sing, pray, sing praise to the Lord for as long as you live. You are merciful, Lord. You are kind and patient and always loving. You are good to everyone and you take care of all your creation. Sing and shout praises. praises to the Lord our God. Our Lord, you keep your word and do everything you say. When someone stumbles or falls, you give a helping hand. Sing and shout praises, praises to, to the Lord. Lord our God. Our Lord, everything you do is kind and thoughtful. You are near to everyone who, whose prayers come from heart. Sing and shout praises to the Lord our God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge and the judge hand you over to the constable and the constable will throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, as we begin our reflection, I'd like you to take a moment to think of an opportunity which you may have had that you let pass you by because you waited too long on it. This morning's gospel points to just this sort of situation. Jesus starts by reminding us of the need to interpret the present time, but more importantly, he reminds us that as humans, we have to keep in mind that our lives in this world are short. We have the present moment, but we're not promised tomorrow or even an hour from now. So why put off till tomorrow what you can do today? The second part of the passage in this morning's gospel is where Jesus emphasizes the need for us to evaluate our lives and our actions, to recognize our sins, to repent of them, 
to ask forgiveness and make every effort to live in peace with God and our neighbors. Jesus emphasizes in the final lines of the gospel reading that it's better to repent now and settle our accounts with God of our own free will by way of repentance and amendment of our lives rather than waiting for another day which may not come. Let us continue with the prayer of the faithful. Some people, <clears throat> some people have something to bring to God in prayer. These petitions were offered so that we can accompany them. For the parents of Omar Crespo, class of 2005, that God may give them strength and deal with their illness. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Marlon Durrett, grandmother of Isaac and Alexis, who is having surgery this morning. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For Mom McChesney, who took a bad fall last night, for this we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let us join our prayers together. Those we have spoken and those we have kept in the silence of our hearts using the words our Savior's taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you restored your people to eternal life by raising Christ your Son from death. Make our faith strong and our hope sure. May we never doubt that you will fulfill the promises you have made. Accept our prayer in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. He won't let me go. God holds on to my soul. Nothing can separate me from God's love. Sweet Jesus won't let me go. I call unto God of Israel that thou would bless me and bless me indeed enlarge my coast that thy hand might be with me that thou would bless me and bless me indeed Lord keep evil from me that I might not be grieved that thou would bless me and bless me indeed and God granted him what he requested that thou would bless me and bless me indeed supernatural favor I need it that I have it ah wonderful unlimited goodness that only God knows about that only God can give to me that thou would bless me that's what I need this morning that's what I need this morning that thou would bless me bless me Jesus that thou would bless me that thou would bless me me that thou will bless me and bless me indeed I'm gonna do this thing just you wait and see you're gonna be you're gonna be so proud of me thank you Jesus I'm 
gonna do this thing just you wait and see turn to someone around you and remind them i love you i love you you're worth it you're worth it you can be you can be any good thing any good thing you want to be you want to be in life in life if you believe if you believe in the god inside of you in the god inside of you listen to me listen to me this is all i know about you this is all i know about you you can't change my mind you can't change my mind i know i'm talking to a winner i know i'm talking to a winner and now since it's clear that you're a winner and now since it's clear that you're a winner don't miss the moment don't miss the moment and always remember to smile and always remember to smile i don't know what you're going to do i don't know what you're going to do with the rest of your day with the rest of your day but i'm going to enjoy my day but i'm going to enjoy my day because this is the day because this is the day that the lord has made that allah has made and i will rejoice and i will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it so today so today you go and conquer you go and conquer happy friday happy friday everybody happy friday all right we're sal yo we're sal <laughs> we're sal when we need him Oh my gosh. It said you always remember to smile. Isn't that what you said, Cass? That's what I said. Yeah, Agnes didn't smile. <laughs> Senior group leader. Agnes I am smiling now. Agnes didn't smile. Sunil oh. didn't smile. <laughs> Rosa yeah, I did. Did. Rosa I actually did. No, no, you didn't. Now you are, but you didn't then. I didn't before. Rosa didn't smile. I was smiling the whole time. Phil McHarris didn't smile. <laughs> Here he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you and everyone. Who's running this anyway? Agnes. Students will now report attendance. Maroon section. Joe K, one absent. Prof Blood, too late. Jim Cavanaugh, one late. And John Ford, one late. We're in section, one absent. Oh, cool. What? Blue section? Father Valerian, four late. I mean, four absent. Father William, one absent. Father Thomas, three late. Father Timothy, one late. And Father Celestin, one absent. Blue section, five absent. Sam, is there a convenience this weekend? Oh, there is, yeah. There is. So are any of those guys at that retreat? I think uh, I'd have to check on that. Check it. Like yeah, it maybe that's where some guys are. Yeah. White section. Father John, one late. Father Boniface, one absent. Father Dunstan, three late. Father Casimir, perfect. White section, one absent. Gray section. Father Cornelius, perfect. Father Eugene, one absent. Father Philip, one late, one absent. Father Burner, two absent. Frank Hill, perfect. Gray section, four absent. Freshman that, attendance. Is that what you comb your hair with today anyway? Block of, <laughs> cheese, block of cheese or something? Holy cow. Jeez. <laughs> Continue, Agnes. Freshman the attendance. Freshman, the freshman of three absent. Transfer attendance. Transfer is two absent. Girls division. Watch this. One. Oh. Group one, two absent. Group two, two late. Group three, three late. Transfer is perfect. Girls division, two absent. Middle division. 
Father Nicholas, one absent. Father Rupert, one absent. Sister Philomena, three absent. Sister Claire Christie, perfect. Abbot James, perfect. Middle division, five absent. We will now listen to the community announcements. From Mr. Scanlon, Upper Division and Seniors, our next B-car is taking us to Brunswick, Maine, next Tuesday to talk to to talk with Richard Ohio, class of 20, and other SBP alumni. Um, they will have a conversation with us about their experience at Bowden. Bowden. At Bowden. 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 Um, this is also the alumni alma mater of Mr. Spencer Vespel that he frequently spoke about. If you're interested, respond to the B card form in your email. Um, from Mr. John Baptiste, college guidance class will meet today and Friday or today, mm-hmm. today block three young men and block four young women will meet. Um, from Karen, not, um, there will be a virtual open house on Thursday, October 29th, so please spread the word. A Google form was sent out regarding out of school activities, so please check your inbox and fill out the form as soon as possible. Um, Justin has an announcement. Good morning, community. I'm here to inform everyone about our virtual open house, October 29th at 7 p.m. I'm asking the community in order to bring more attention to our school to help advertise this virtual open house. If you have an Instagram, go to AdGradeBees and find the post about your virtual open house. We also have a Facebook page. If you have Facebook or your parents do, ask them to search for AdGradeBees and find the post. <laughs> post it on your stories, find the link somewhere, post it yourself, do anything that helps publicize it. If you go to our website, spp.org, there's more information on the homepage. Thank you. Justin, can you c- comment on why, why are we doing these? Uh, we're not allowed to have uh, this many people on the property to show the property in person. So we have, uh, we have a recording of places on the property to give virtual tours as well. And yeah. The other problem is uh, that, that you may or may not be aware of, Jay, uh, is that the, Newark, the schools that we typically go to visit to talk to eighth graders about Benedict's, they're not in session. Yeah, they're they're not in school, right? So Newark is not in school. Everything's not in school. Uh, um, East Orange, all of those places are out. So there's no way to get to those kids. So yeah. that's why that's why you're doing this, correct? Yeah, we've also been doing virtual school visits with some of those schools. Good. Thank you, Jay. Rosa has an announcement. Good morning, everyone. So this Wednesday, there was a Google form sent out about outdoors activities that you're involved in. It's important for students to fill it out, especially the ones in the girls division. It's going to help the admissions team and the strategics team see where we can advertise and recruit for the divisions. So please have it filled out by at least the end of classes today. Thank you. Why is it especially, why did you use that adverb, especially for the girls division? As the, new, the girls division is new and that's where we need students the most. So yeah, that's why. That's what, who's we? The division, the girls. What, don't, what are you yelling at me for? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gatherani has an announcement. Good morning, everyone. Uh, We are very excited and fortunate this morning to welcome 10 new members to the St. Benedict's chapter of the National Honor Society. In recognition of their outstanding achievements in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character, our newest members were inducted into the National Honor Society during their time as students at Benedictine Academy. Transferring their membership to our chapter of the National Honor Society is not only an honor, but it's an indication of the continuing emphasis on the excellence that we strive to achieve here in our school and our community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. Um, In addition to the strong academic record of our chapter members, they're also leaders uh, in many student organizations and serve our school and community through various activities. So if you would please join me in welcoming uh, the following new members of the St. Benedict's chapter of the National Honor Society. Christine Alvarez.
Adeline Antillis, mm -hmm. Isabel Garcia, Natalia Chimbe, mm -hmm. Kaya Reed, Brianna Marrero, Deborah Heath, Rosa Judy, <coughs> <laughs> Troy Slade, <laughs> and Agnes Aganwa. Um, Congratulations, and we're glad and fortunate to have you. Yep. Thank you. Speaking of academic excellence, Phil, what's going on at Yale? Uh, nothing much, just finishing up. Um, yeah, my last year. For the PhD, right? Yeah. Back in my day, I was the president of the National Honor Society, too. So when you were here? Yeah, just made me, uh, brought me back. And doing, um, you do it because a lot of it, a lot of people on the, uh, at Convo this morning from all over the world. Um, you're doing the PhD in? Sociology and African-American studies. Yeah. Great. Undergraduate, I forgot, where'd you go? Boston College. BC, that's it, mm -hmm. okay. Great, so mm -hmm. speaking of the International Honor Society, right? I'm sorry, uh, so thanks for being here, Phil. Sienna's gonna cut me off again. <laughs> Well, actually, that was a really good introduction to Mr. Phil McCarris, class of 2010, who has, who's here to uh, let us know about a program he's going to host here on Friday, right, Phil? Today or next Friday? Next Friday. Okay. Next, Friday. next Friday. Go ahead. Let us know about it. Uh, yeah. So one, it's it's great to be joining um, with you all today. Uh, it's great to see, you know, even though folks can't be in physical space, there is you know, virtual avenues to gather. And I'm glad to, to see that folks are all, um, you know, in community with one another. And yeah, so um, folks from from uh, Race to Action uh, reached out to me and um, yeah, I'm really excited uh, about the, the group and about having important conversations um, around race, class, gender, inequality. Uh, my work has largely at Yale has focused around race, housing, and policing. And most recently, I've been involved in discussions around uh, policing and reimagining public safety. And so, you know, that that'll be sort of the theme of the the uh, the discussion next week. And you know, um, for me, a lot of what I what I think about when I think about reimagining what safety can look like, I often think about Benedicts because um, you know a lot of schools in places like Newark, um, you know leaders say, well, we need to have police in these schools to make them safe. And, you know, I think about Benedict's that it wasn't that model, but I, I remember always feeling safe. And so um, it's a model that I use to, to think about what safety can look like. And, you know, just just really, uh, you know, thinking outside the box around how things can can be done. I think, um, you know, just just as a as a word, oftentimes people give uh, you know, templates for how things should be, but it doesn't always, you know, have to be that way. And I think this is a time now to really think outside the box around all sorts of things, you know, around around how different institutions and spaces can look like. And I mean, St. Benedict's now is a co-institutional model, I think is, is one example of, you know, just how things were doesn't mean it always has to look that way. And I think, you know, I'm really excited to see um, how this is all taking shape. So that's my intro. Um, it's great to Thanks, be here. Yeah. And Phil, by, for those alums out there that uh, Phil has just recently uh, had an op-ed in the Times, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Dead air, Sienna. Dead air. <laughs> um, continue to email announcements and prayer requests to announce at svp.org. Announcements sent before 7.30 a.m. will be read that day. Announcements sent after will be read following, at the following convocation. I want to, uh, on behalf of Mr. John Baptiste, I want to clarify an earlier announcement. Um, it's blocks one, two, and four young men will meet today, according to Mr. John Baptiste. And from uh, from the convocation uh, sort of broadcast staff, I want to apologize to to Brother Mark 
because I seems to us like seems to me at least that we had cut off your reflection a little bit early. So sorry about that. We the okay. the, the brought the um the the audio stream was not as strong as it usually is, and we thought that was it was finished. Sorry about that. All right, Agnes, back to you. Okay. <laughs> you will now see which alumni and alumnae are present here today. Watch out, there's a lot of new guys mm. here. And, uh, I don't know about new new uh, women, but no, new guys here, I think. There's a lot. All right, good morning, everyone. We would like to welcome back the following alumni to convocation. Uh, from the class of 61, Tom Kilkenny. From the class of 64, Kevin Moore. From Kevin Moore, is this Kevin's first time, I think? No, he's been here? Sorry, Kev. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a while, it's been but a he, while. he was here before. That's right. Good. Uh, from the class of 65, John Malone. From the class of 70, Dr. Kevin Sheridan. Uh, from the class of 71, John Anderson. Uh, Al uh, Espo, Esposito. Espo. Espo. Is this Espo's first time? He's on the West Coast, I think, right? Mm -hmm. That's John Anderson from California. Al Esposito from San Diego, both first timers. Wow. Great. There's a bunch of California guys now uh -huh. coming. A bunch of uh, 71 is definitely making uh, making their run at 83 today. Watch out, Vern. Vern. Vern's in big trouble. <laughs> Vern's in trouble from alumni guys who graduated 50 years ago. They're stepping on Vern. Ay, ay, ay. Go ahead. So Al Esposito's here. John Anderson. Uh, Paul Fagan. Paul Fagan. Paul Fagan. Paul Fagan. Um, Richard Lee. Dr. Tim Lee. Newman. Who was that? Uh, Richard Lee and Tim Newman. Tim Newman, and, that's right. And Jim Waldron. Jim Waldron. Ay, ay, ay. Poor Vernon. <laughs> 71. <laughs> From the class of 74, Kevin Davis. From the class of 77, Anthony Badger. From the class of 79, Clarence Richardson. In the class of 81, Jesse Alexander. Just, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. She doesn't have to call it Anheuser-Busch Natural Light, and you doesn't have to call it Anheuser-Natural, and you doesn't have to call it Bush Natural. Just say natural. Just say natural. Just say natural. Johnson's right. Oh, you can call me a rage. Hey, what you can call me gay. Or you can call me gay. For a great tasting light beer. Where's Jesse? <laughs> what was that? It's Jesse. Where's Jesse? And skip. Go ahead. <laughs> Danny from the class uh, from the class of eighty two. Danny Raymond from the class of eighty three. Fred Davis, Kevin Davis, Paul Eckert, George Miller, Jonathan Nelson, Sean Norwood, Bill White, and Steve Wright from the class of eighty four. Brennan June, Sean McChesney, and Deacon Harold Sivers from the class of eighty seven. Seventy one. So Akira okay, seventy one. Had way more guys than than Vern had in '84. Ouch. Ouch. We're gonna add one more to '71 as well. Ben Culper, mm. Benjamin Culper, Doctor Culper. Wow, Doctor Culper. Listen to this, guys. I don't know where he is. Um, let's find out where where, where Doctor Culper is. Uh, but um, Doctor Culper never left King Boulevard until he was like about 22 or 23 years old. Imagine that. Never left King Boulevard. He can explain that. I think he, he went to school right here on King Boulevard his entire life. Right. Um, Dead air. Continuing from the class of 87, Pat Napoli, Chris Parker, Chris Dew. From the class of 90, Anthony Diovaldi. From the class of 93, Roy Robles. In the class of 94, Camilo Smith. In the class of 95, Mike Williams. In the class of 98, Jamal Johnson. In the class of 2005, David Bronco. Um, in the class of 2010, Phil McHarris. Uh, in the class of 2018, Carlos Acosta. Mm. In the class of 2019, Dave Cardona. Uh, from the elder class, Lauren Brennan. Mrs. Jabino and Peg Holleran. Uh, from the honorary class of 1999, Bill and Colleen Schweitzer. 
uh, for the honorary class of 2013, Jim Hall. For the honorary class of 2019, Jim McCary. I think uh, Mike Farrell's here, too, from 71. That's right. Alice Vizito said Farrell's here. Yes, yes. I, I also want my mother to get credit for being here. She's not in convo, but she's covering the sixth grade yesterday and today. So she's she's been here. <laughs> oh, good. That's <laughs> okay. good. She's working. <laughs> Good morning. From the class of 1967, member of the Benedictine Alumni Association, Barbara Amina Lamort. From the class of 1972, be advisory board member, Amy Moran. Hey, did we get did we get a note from from uh, Mrs. Moran? Because uh, she she's been missing most of the week. We know on Tuesdays and Thursdays she's got an excuse, but we I, I don't think she's been here the other days. So we need to get that get a note. Oh, she wasn't here Monday. She wasn't here Monday. We'll get that. From we'll get the that. Class, we'll get from that. The class of 1995, Sequoia Moore. From the class of 2017, Desiree Fortune. And from the class of 2020, Megan Rendero Decrees. Terrific. Here's, here's the note I got this morning. This one. This is, this is, I'm going to name people now because this is from Agnes, the senior group leader. Because she put please in the front of it, she thinks that, that that makes it okay. She said this. This is what she said. I'm looking. She said, please head into convo. Oh. Now, did she say, please head into convo? Or did was, she say, or did she say, please no. head into convo? I said, please head into convo. Good morning. I said, good morning, too. So No, no, I saw it here. I was being very, yes, I. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was the text ahead of it. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but then you said, please head into convo. But was there a comma after please or was there no comma after please? Oh. Who's asking me, Eric? No, there's no comma. Oh, so it's please come to convo. Is that the way you interpret it? Definitely. He's going to be a lawyer. Being very polite. Well, I couldn't tell that. <laughs> um, is that like Eric? Is that like he likes carrots and peas in his soup? <laughs> Oxford comma discussion. <laughs> I um, think Ruben. <laughs> you have to be mindful of time. So Ruben has an announcement. All, right. All we have is time, Ruben. All we have is time. Right. Go ahead. Quickly, Grace and Action would like to re-clarify that Mr. McCarris' talk will be two Fridays from now on November 7th, um, not next week. Thank you. Okay, November 7th. Thank you. Quickly, you see there's another one. Adverbs, prepositions, and pronouns is what you need to pay attention to in community. Right? Quickly. What, was that like a comment on the fact that I wasn't being quick enough? No, it just is a quick comment. No, I didn't have a lot to say. All right. I got it. Yeah. I accept that. <laughs> Father, in case you didn't see his comment, uh, Dr. Culper said he left Newark to go to medical school in Mexico in 75 and now just got back from Fort Wayne, uh, Fort Wainwright, Alaska for retiree recall. Yeah, left Newark. I, I would say he left King Boulevard to go to medical school. I think he went to Rutgers here in Newark, mm. undergraduate, here to Benedict's, and the, it was at St. Mary's, Doc, I think he went to St. Mary's. So he was here all the time. He and his twin brother, by the way. All right. And next week we have two guests so far lined up. And so was, today was Phil McHarris and obviously Mr. Galarani. Next week it's going to be, we have some very, very wonderful guests coming in. Uh, but, uh, but you're also wonderful, Father. So, yeah. Well, first of all, we're, we're happy for, for for Phil McHarris and his work. Yes. And his uh, thinking about all the things that he thinks about for the sake of the uh, community. And everybody here knows that Gallerani's a clown. <laughs> Mr. Gallerani, two point. Um, really quick. Really quick. Cornbread or banana bread? I said, yeah, cornbread or banana bread, Mr. Gallerani, really quick. Oh, yeah. dude, listen. 
Like a t- ten to ten years in the South, it's cornbread all the way. <laughs> but here's what I can say, Seiko. Here's what I can. Say. <laughs> I know, I can. You're a big talker about cornbread, but what I know is the with the banana bread. I was able to have it to taste it. I haven't had any banana. I haven't had any cornbread from you. You're sending me pictures, but I don't see the corn. I don't have the cornbread to eat it. Uh, I got. I'm trying. I have to make it on a Thursday because if I make it on a Saturday, it's just gonna sit Sunday and it's not gonna be fresh. So I gotta make it Thursday, bring it in Friday. Where you make it at Boston Market? Yes. I go to Boston Market. What Boston? What Boston Market you work at? East Orange on Central Ave, right across the street from Wells Fargo. What days are you working? You could come on Thursday. Come on Thursday. 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 You don't work this weekend. I do on Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday. Tomorrow. You work tomorrow. Yes. You go to the masjid today. Go ahead. Go ahead. Answer Pajuma. that question. For Juma, yes, I am. Don't, what time? Don't, don't, One thirty. Don't try to play me. <laughs> don't try to play me. <laughs> You just go once? I go every Friday, if I just, can. Just, oh yeah, anyway, if I can. I'm <laughs> on the property, I have practice. That's more important than, uh, than my sheet? It's not, <laughs> no, I can also, but God knows my <laughs> predicament. God knows my predicament. <laughs> You better make Father sure Ray, go, go back on you, Father. Ray. Go back on you. <laughs> oh <Wow>. my gosh. <laughs> um, I have a correction for the um college guidance class for the young men. Um, you guys will be meeting blocks one, two, and four. Okay, that was my correction. <laughs> on that note. Alumni and alumnae, thank you for coming to Convo. Please continue to check in. Um, Students, uh, to the girls, I will be sending out a modded Convo schedule and we will be getting out at 110 today. And Christ Among Us. Um, For the boys, the schedule will be pushed back five minutes. I'll be sending out a schedule. So I'm leaving. Uh, Namaste and Shalom. Dismissed.